Morning, everybody. It's me, Georgia, and me, Jo. Surprise, surprise. Hopefully, you should know us by now. <laughs> yeah, I think you should know us by now. Yeah. Although, if, if you're new, if maybe. yes, or if you joined us our sneaky live yesterday, we got Laura on live we as did. well, and you she got to was, meet Laura. She was awesome. So now they all know she exists. Can yeah. we talk about Laura? A You've lot, met all we? the shock team now: Kirsty, me, and Laura, yeah. and me, and Jo, and Kelly, and Kelly. They've not met Anna. No, that's the next one, Joe. Yeah, I'm never going to get Anna on live. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get Anna on live. But we did have Lauren. Didn't she do well she did yesterday? Really well. Yeah, really well. So, hello, everybody, and welcome. We're Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Nearly Friday. We are getting there. We're getting yeah. there. It's nearly the weekend. Let's see who's joined us this morning. I mean, who wants to win a pushchair? got a push chair to give away today. And a, and a good giveaway as well. It, an amazing giveaway. We're being hopeful, we're being optimistic that this year we're going to be able to travel. Yeah, fingers so crossed. We are going to be looking at some smaller folding push chairs that are on the market at the moment. And we've grabbed just a few from our store. So hopefully there might be something you like the look of. If you're hoping to go travelling this year or boot space, yeah. because boot space is just... You live in a city maybe, yeah. or something really compact as well it works so all you need to do today to join in with our giveaway is to ask us a question pass some comments you know just have a chin wag with us basically you know you are our new friends because yeah. we've got no social life anymore no. so i um, let's see who's joined us this morning jane brocklesby you were faster fin fastest fingers first good morning. this morning good morning jane and elizabeth martin and amy sophie grant Be bethel Rebecca Robinson and Millie Isabel, Lizzie Brooks and Lucy Hannah and Ailing Ashleen Cooper and Emily Rachel and Mary Dixon. Oh, they're a friendly bunch this morning. Also, a lot good morning. already this morning. Claire Farley, pa Pavlina Benediktova, I hope I said that right, Aoife Chapman and Gemma Sandal and Tracy Higgs, I'm going to stop in a minute, <laughs> and Lucy Ann and Amy Williamson and Kim Dunworth and Kajal Mahatma and Aoife Chapman, I may have said that twice, Trisha Latham Trainer. Oh my goodness, I can't keep up with this. You lot are too fast <laughs> this morning. So we are going to look at some smaller folding uh, strollers, push chairs. We have been asked um, to cover these. Yeah. So we do try and cover whatever you would like us to cover. So if you've got any ideas, do send us a message. These lives are all about you guys uh, sat at home. Yeah, yeah. What, what can we help with? What, what would you like to see more of? Definitely. So our prize today is a Maxi Cozy Leica. And it's a tra kind of a travel come city stroller, yeah. but we're also including the soft carry cot as well. So it's a whole bundle that's going to take you all the way from birth up until the time when you are not going to need one, yeah. hopefully a stroller. So up to 15 kilograms. Yeah, so nice. it's got a nice weight. And I like the fact that you can pop your carry cot on here. It is nice because there's a lot of smaller, more compact yeah. folding push chairs. If you're short of space, you know, if you live in the city, going up and down on the underground and things like that, you don't want no. necessarily a big, bulky pushchair or no. travel system. No. So there are some options for you, and we've got just some of them out today, but not all of them take a carry cot, do they? No, no, not all. Some just have the seat that reclines in the a lie flat position, goes from birth. But obviously, in that position, you don't you don't get the ability sometimes then to have the seat facing you. Whereas yeah. this is quite nice. Babies still facing you, you can still see, yeah. see baby, which is I'm nice. I'm a big carry cot fan. Yeah. Are you a carry cot fan? Some people are quite happy from birth straight into the seat unit. Yeah. You see, I kind of like a carry cot so we don't have to fasten a little one up because especially when they're very little, they're kind of all curled yeah. up because that's how they've been inside your tummy yeah. for nine months. And, you know, if it's warm, you know, they're not getting hot and sweaty. If yeah. it's cold, you can just layer them up with more blankets. Yeah, it's a nice, co nice cocoon for them, a nice cosy place and to be. And you're protected from the elements, aren't you, in a yeah, carry yeah. cot? Yeah, yeah. whether it's summer or winter, it's great. So right. let's have a look at our prize. Who wants to win our prize this morning? Are you hoping to travel anywhere exciting? Or are you a city dweller? Yeah. Tell us why this pushchair would be perfect for you. And I say it's a really nice colour as well. This is in the colour um, Nomad Blue. And it's just, an, it's a nice dark blue, isn't it? And it's got I'm nice a nice grain to it. I'm a big fan of navy. Yeah, really, really nice colour. Um, and they say, this has obviously got the carry cot on there, and then you have got it sat on the stroller seat. So you've got two poppers, one either side, um, and then your hood just comes all the way back. So say really, really nice. This is your, your carry cot, and then you've got your zip all the way around. 
Look, you get free instruction booklet in there as well. You do. Who knew? Emil, em, sorry, Emily Rachel has joined us and she's tagged Katie Watson and said, perfect for your trips to Germany. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That would be lovely, trip to Germany. I know. We'd go anywhere at the moment. <laughs> I think, you know, we'd, we'd go to Skegness, which is literally down the road to us. Yeah, that, but, that yeah, does... We'd go anywhere, I think. Yeah, at the minute. But, yeah, so really, really nice carry cot. Um, it does... It's the same as most standard carry cots. goes from birth to nine kilograms. Um, and you know, as you can see here, you have got your carry straps which is really nice. So you can buckle this off the pushchair seat and then you can obviously take it into the house, which is quite nice for a it nice is. compact stroller. Yeah, so it's okay for little ones to obviously have their naps in. It's not recommended for overnight sleep no. because it's what we call a soft carry cot. Um, so Amy Williamson says, how many are having a break from homeschooling to watch the live every day? Oh, that's good. Good idea. No, we would not. I am a teacher. I used to be a teacher. I can't encourage that. Oh, I can. <laughs> just, just change your schedule. Yeah. That's all you do. Change your timetable. Everyone for needs those a bit of a break, ones. don't they? Of course so they it's, do. It's good to, to, nice that you're using your break to come and watch us. So Ailing says they prefer a carry cot for the first few months. Yeah. Paige Thompson. Huh? So yeah, we know who she is. So she loves a, a carry cot. Um, so lots of people doing yeah. the thumbs up for carry cots. I think cot. I would use a carry cot. They're uh, just nice. I love a carry cot. We've got a few people I asked where they would be going. A bit of luck. Jane Brocklesby, caravan holiday. Yes. Yeah. I used to have a caravan. And if you've got a big, bulky, it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. You need something that you can store. Perhaps yeah. it's quite small. Or you need something that's really chunky and off-roady so you can go through the muddy fields because it's very muddy when you go caravanning all the time. Yeah. Carol Newton says it would fit in her mini. It would. Joe Meekin says Maxi Cozy do nice colours. Katie Watts would love to see how small how small this folds up. Do you think we could show her in a little while? Mm -hmm. Stay yeah, tuned, Katie. Like... You never know. We might we We've might do that. Um, Daniel Gibbons, amazing as a second push chair for travelling. Yeah, quite a lot of people have a bigger push chair and then something smaller for travelling. Yeah. Or they'll move on to something smaller when baby gets a little bit older. Yeah, they just want something a bit smaller to get in and out of the booth. We've got a lot of camping fans today. Lorna Leons, we love camping, so this would be perfect for our limited space in the car. Yeah. You just take so much stuff when you go camping. It you is do. amazing. You don't realise. You always have to pack your house up and then you go. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Helen Downham says, they live in the... Where's hers? We live in the country, but we get the train to the city often. Looks perfect for this. Yeah, it's a great... Yeah train push chair or it just folds really quickly you, you get a carry strap with it as well not only on the carry cot but on the actual stroller so it's nice going up and down the um the, the stairs and the tube and things. yeah she said we need two polar opposites for a, in a pram yeah yeah you do yeah you suppose you do don't you it's half city and half country jolene guys. ah jolene is they're going to florida as soon as they are Ooh. allowed but it's been delayed since last may Oh, wow. Come on, this year. Come on. Come on, yeah. this year. Let's It'll be hope. a lot more special when you get to go. That's how I kind of I think everybody it. is going to get on the plane and just go, hooray! I'm not going home, I'm staying! One way trip, one way trip. <laughs> so, Katie Watts has said, she's, she's desperate to see this fold, you know. Does it fold with the carry cot on? Well, you just have to wait, Katie. Stay, <laughs> stay, stay. Um, so, let's have a little look at our prize yep. today. To enter the draw in our prize, and we will draw it live at the end, all you need to do is Ask us a question, pass a comment, anything you like, anything. and we will draw the winner at the end. So we've talked about the carry, carry cot, cot yeah. to nine kilograms. Up to nine kilograms, which is really nice. So you get your, your carry straps, um, and to take this off, you have got two buckles, one either side, and this is so just clicked onto the front um, part of your chassis there, and you just want to unbuckle it. Then that's obviously detaching from the front, and you've got one this side as well. And then at the back, you've just got two poppers. You've got one either side again. Just on the inside, so you just want to popper those out. And then once you've got those poppered out, you can then... Lift and go. Lift with your straps, and then off you go. Which is Perfect. really nice. So that's what you're going to use for the first six months. Yeah. Now we have a bit of a naked stroller. It's missing yeah. something it's missing quite a part. vital. However... Oh, can you guess what it's missing? <laughs> I think they might. I think they might. It's a bit obvious what's missing. So once you've finished with your carry cot, and you can purchase this with or without the carry cot, but we've got it here with the carry cot, and our prize includes the carry cot. You've just, if you do use a carry cot, you've just got to pop the back on you your, your bumper, bar, bumper bar, and then and your, hood. your hood. So look, this is our live. So it does include a hood. Don't worry. <laughs> so it just clicks on. 
into place. So we're getting lots of thumbs up here for this product. I think people are liking the fact that it's got a carry cot. Um, Sophia Bizoin, I hope I said that right, would be perfect for a guide dog owner because it's so light and easy to use one-handed. Yes, we will um, get Georgia to demonstrate the, how easy it is one-handed one in fold. just a moment. Uh, Claire Farley is missing baby David. We, we, we don't have baby David today. We have his... No, he's not here today. Now, which one is this? They have different names. Is this Harmony or... I don't know. I've just found this out this morning. Yeah, I know. I think Laura and... Claire's is like, do you want Harmony or um, Leo? And I was like... I think Laura named them yesterday. So yeah. they pass their Have a day off and you name day. all the babies. Um, Lorna Barber says she's in need of a small folding push chair. So Lorna, stay tuned. There might be something that catches your eye. This is our prize today. Um, but we do have a, quite a few from in our store that we're looking at today. Not all of them today. Just got a, a bunch of them. How are you getting on there? I don't know. It's not are you all fingers and thumbs? I'm, it's not working for me this morning. I don't know why. Uh, Claire says, how heavy is the carry cot? I don't have the exact weight for you, Claire, but I will find out the weight for you. The answer to that is not very heavy. No. Um, so, uh, Naz Haig has joined us. He says, hi, everyone. Olivia Blackburn, perfect for travelling. Um, K. Michelle says, it looks like a bee. It looks lightweight and smaller. Quite different to your bee, um, but it is incredibly lightweight and it is a small push chair. Um, uh, what, what, oh, these questions are coming in so fast. We've got questions about handle adjustments, so we'll run through that in a moment, and how the seat reclines. One of the things whilst um, Georgia is doing this, one of the things I love about it is your bumper bar, and I don't know how well it will show up on camera, and your handle are navy blue. So it's a really, really yeah. deep uh, navy there. So just a little bit different. Generally, they're always going to be black or tan, but this one is a little bit different. So I'm just going to pop our bumper bar on there. Look, I can do it one-handed. And not yeah. drop the um, iPad. <laughs> you put it on the wall. I don't know what I've done here. Here, you chat, I'll sort. Joe, fix me. Hey. I don't know whether I can fix you, but I'll see whether we can fix this. Will it go under? No, we think we're going to have to take it off. So see, I've almost I've folded it for you already. So there, there was the hint, you see. Put your, put your ha a hood the other side yeah. when you are doing it. So, hello all, Susan said. Hello. Good hey, morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Compact. Amy said compact strollies is something that we have been looking at. Yeah, it's a nice one to have because obviously most people tend to go for your, um, it, it depends, everyone's slightly different on what their needs are, yeah. and what they want, um, but you tend to kind of have a compact uh, stroller if you need something that's really small to get in and out of the boot. There, we're, we're on it now. We're, we're, Joe's fixed it. We're rocking and rolling, look. Now we can get the hood forward. I don't know so what I did. So when you're replacing, putting the hood back on, you need to do it in front of the brake. Yeah, don't do what don't I do. Don't do it behind. Um, yeah, so what you do is then, as you can see here from the hood, there is a really nice big distance from the um, top of the seat to the hood. Um, obviously, we've took the um, hood off because when you've got the carry cut on, obviously you can see little one, which is really nice. You can see all... You can leave the hood on if you You could want. if you wanted to, but you've just then added a restriction, Remind aren't us, you? next time we're doing a demonstration, leave the hood off and tell everybody you can take it off if you want to. <laughs> Don't do what I did. I thought, Joe, I've got this. You've I got can it. do it. And you can do it. You can do it. It didn't work. Yeah, but you get all kerfuffled when you're doing a live. It's just Yeah, it's, it, you know people watching. <laughs> no, nobody's watching. No, one's, nobody's no watching. one saw. Charlotte has said she's desperate for a compact stroller. I say, you have commented, so you are in the draw to win. There we go. I'll pass stroller. this over to you. Should we swap? Yeah, you can have Switch iPad swap. back. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be all right now. I think Joe's fixed me. <laughs> so as you can see, I've just pushed the hood forward. You yeah. do have a nice big hood. For a compact stroller, you do have a nice big hood on yeah, there. Yeah, really nice. And you get a good size seat. So again, goes all the way. Um, you can obviously use your carry cot on there, but then it goes up to 15 kilograms, the seat itself. And I like the distance that you get between the seat and the bumper bar as well. There's a good space and it's not too close to, to little one, like far back. Which no, is nice. we have got a question. Lizzie Brooks says, is the seat high back? So there are some with higher back seats, yeah. but you do have a lot of coverage for if you've got a taller child there. Yeah. 
Um, but one of the reasons that it's not particularly high is because this is really designed as a travel stroller, so it's yeah. going to fold nice and small, which we'll show you in just they a They designed it in a way so it's very compact. Your smaller folding push chairs, you've always got some kind of compromise, haven't you? Yeah. You have got your zip extension um, on there, so you can make your hood um, smaller. Claire Farley says, will it fit in a Volkswagen Polo? Yes, yeah. it will, depending what you have in the boot. Yeah. An empty boot would be great. <laughs> but yeah, it's really compact. Should I go straight into the fold, do you think? Yeah, let's, so let's see. Everyone wants to see a fold. Um, you've got your brake just at the back here. So it's a flick on and flick off. Um, you do get a fairly small basket because it is a compact pushchair. Yeah, but that's none with a massive, massive basket here. That's though. kind of, again, a compromise you make with a compact um, pushchair. To fold, you've got a grey button at the back and then almost like your brake lever at the top. And what you do, Push those in at the same time, and then you want to push your push chair forward, and then bring your hood back. It's a funny fold, isn't it? I've never folded. It's, I've not really seen many push chairs with this sort of fold. No, it is a funny fold because it's kind of you, you reverse what you, you normally reverse do. Reverse what you normally do. But you take once it forward, run them back. You've got it. You've got it. Yep. But when we first got it in store, there were a few times where we'd have, excuse me, can somebody tell me how to fold this? Uh, yeah. Because it's a little bit. And more even tricky. sometimes when we see so many push chairs, we fold so many. It's like. Stop uh, thing. Right, I think it's that one. <laughs> yeah. You soon learn. Um, so, all the Katie there. says, will it fit in an MG3 boot? Now, unfortunately, Katie, I don't have an MG3 here with me today. To test Otherwise, it. I would test it. But if you need the dimensions of this or any pushchair to check whether it will fit into the boot, into the boot of your car, do let us know because we've yeah. got the dimensions. I of imagine all if the it's quite, it, it would fit in a mini. Yeah. Oh, it's going to fit in most things. 500. Yeah. yeah, it fits in a lot of very small, compact um, boots because of how small the fold is, as you saw. Katie Watts said she would love to keep this at Nanny's house, and she's tagged in Carol Newton. Is Carol Newton Nanny, I wonder? I don't know. I maybe. Don't know. Maybe, maybe a sister or sister-in-law as well. They're trying to get Nanny to, to get a small folding push chair. Charlotte Griffin, not that anyone's flying lately, but cabin size would be super. With regards to cabin size, even if a brand says it will fit in the cabin so you can take it on board with you, we would always say check, check, yeah. check first because rules and regulations do change. And we have found that even some of your incredibly small fold push chairs, and I think our smallest one is the Ant, the Bugaboo Ant today, although it can fit in, there are some airlines that even though it will fit in, they don't allow you to no. take it in. You get to the gate and they take it off you. So, yeah. 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 Just, always just always double check. check. It's always best to just double we check We would anyway. never like to assume anything. No. Not where airlines are con uh, concerned. No. Um, but, so, Katie J. Murphy says that's fantastically compact. Yeah. Emily Rachel, who shared, thank you very much, Emily, says, wow. So, I've, yeah, uh, funny fold, Lorna Barber says. I it is, is a, it it is is a funny, funny fold. fold. It's yeah. a good fold. It's we, a funny we, fold, though. We can't get away from the fact it's a funny fold. A funny fold. No, we are not going to argue that one. No. Not going to argue. Because I say, naturally, what you would normally do is bring the handle back. Like, that's how, how it naturally wants to go. But you don't. You swing it forward. Yeah, and then you constantly you kind of retrieve yeah, it, don't you? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. So whoever wins this, if you need a video of how to fold it, let us know. Yeah, it is easy once you've got it. Honestly, it's not hard. And it's in the instructions as well. Yeah, it's just a flick forward. And so then... Brody Alexandra Johnson... Do you know, our Facebook names, is, people put their middle names in, yeah. surnames, and then they might have nicknames and everything. They're really long. So, Brody, I'm just going to call you Brody. <laughs> is it baguette friendly? She obviously has been on our lives before. Um, what do yeah, you think? but it's not a really long basket. It may fall out on the end you might and have drag a, a bit of baguette on the floor. You, as you might going. not want to eat said baguette afterwards. No. Give it to your child to hold. I but don't know if... Oh, maybe some are. Uh, right, well, we, we, let's have a live that we just cover baguette friendly. I know pushes. what we could do. The winner could put a baguette, 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 a baguette, a baguette in here and then send us a picture. And is it baguette friendly? We know. No? I know. I know. We should have baguettes. I mean, we have babies. Why not have baguettes in store? You know. Yeah. What? Well, and when we get hungry, we just eat on them. <laughs> I've got a plan there. I've got a plan. So this is our prize today. This is the actual one as well. We will be packing it up later. We'll go out on the courier to our winner. It's not only your stroller, but it is also your carry cart. So great option yeah. from birth. And it's really nice as well because you can um, buy separately car seat adapters so you can put a maxi car 
maxi cosy car seat on here as well, which is nice. It's like a travel system if you need it to be. Daniela, I'm just going to jump back before we get rid of our Leica, our maxi cosy Leica. She says, can we have a look at the harness straps? Are they easy? Yeah. Yes, the answer is. Yeah, they are easy. So you've got your middle button here and then you've just got your two separate. So they are really, really easy. It's not four as such. Um, and then you just connect back together and it's got a nice solid click so you don't have to necessarily hold it really carefully in place and then just pushes back in and your harness is adjustable at the back as well yeah yeah at the back you've got, you've got your adjustment here so you can make them shorter um, and longer so it just brings the height but then you've also got your three um, separate re-thread places so you bring you obviously start at the lowest and then bring it up um, as well so Olivia Blackburn has said, how long will the carry cot last up until? So it goes up to nine kilograms, which is roughly from birth up to six months. So nine kilograms is over the six month mark, but obviously they test things always over the time that you should use it for. Yeah, and little one's going to start wanting to sit up when they get to around about six months. Yeah. But we do have a nice flat seat with this. You can use this as a, say if your baby's getting to that point where um, it's complete to you, you could use that for the whole six months, but say baby's getting to that five month mark and maybe wants to be in the seat, make sure it's in the lie flat position and then you can use it Naz is asking Naz hack is the seat parent facing please no so your seat always stays world facing if you want um, to see this one say so parent facing you just need to use your carry cart Katie Murphy must be watching another live she's written your live shoe and tells are always so helpful shoe mm. and tell shoe and tells <laughs> you, more posh shoes you and your shoes I definitely need I don't know shoes. where these are from though so I can't help with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who are wondering what we're going on about, the other day we had somebody ask about... Where my shoes were from, yeah. Your shoes. I think they're more interested in your shoes than the push chairs. Who knows? Who knows? So, let's have a look. Oh, I like it. Sorry, we digress. Claire, Taylor Hughes, it could be a new feature. Baguettes in boogies. Yeah. Do you think lots of people... Google? Like when we say flip-flop friendly, is it baguette friendly? Yeah, exactly. Flip-flop friendly, baguette in boogie. I think, we, I th I think we've, got, we've got a plan yeah. coming here. Yeah. So let's have a look at some of our other small folding push chairs. Shall I, I take her over? I was going to take her over here. So oh, I okay. Referring to her. So it this is our prize today, but we are going to look at some other small folding push chairs. Where do you fancy going to next, Georgia? Anybody got anything? What do you think? Yeah, what so do you we've, think? We've got the Silver Cross Jet. Yeah, Silver Cross Jet all the way over here. We've got the Baby Style Atom. Two. two. Don't forget the two. The Cybex Easiest Twist Plus Two. Your Bugaboo Ant. Oh, I'm running out. My. Of course, the cute bunny is the um hey, Sato Wush Two. Making an appearance. And then we've got our upper baby Minnow, but our upper baby Minnow is the next display. Okay, so yeah, we've got another. So we'll show you our X display Minnow yeah. in a minute. What do, you, what do you fancy starting with? Is Cybex? Yeah, let's go Cybex because it's got Because the colour is just drawing me to it. Does it clash with our background slightly? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Change the background for any more times we have the easiest yeah. twist. We we'll just have to bring the black one out. But we, we wanted to bring the colour because look at it. Yeah, we left the black one in store. No, you've got to do the colour yeah. on this one because it's beautiful it colour. So Cybex Easiest Twist Plus 2 um, is their newest um, Easiest Twist, which is really nice. Really great, again, compact push chair, but it's got nice big wheels, hasn't it? It has. Not as quite as big as a full, um, uh, maybe a, what we're trying to say? A Balios. Uh, yeah, Balios. Yep. Yeah, or you, your mamas and papas a car or say something like that. It's not quite as big as that, but I say for a compact push chair, it's For a compact push chair, it does have really, really big yeah. wheels. And it also goes to 22 kilograms. Yeah. From so, birth to 22 kilograms. Yeah. So a nice weight limit And on it's that. got so many options of what you can do with this push chair, which is really, really nice. Obviously, we've got the seat set up on here. The big thing to notice, though, I'm sure everybody's noticed, is it's parent-facing. And yeah. you don't get many small folding push you chairs don't. that are parent-facing. And it's got, obviously, in the name got a twist there's a bit Let's of twist twisting. again but let's not see so <laughs> one of the um the modes that you can have it in is you can use your cocoon s so your cocoon s is very similar to the maxi cozy um like a carry cart um, it's a hard base which is nice um, and then you've got your zip along the front really nice again size size of the carry cot is really lovely you get your straps to take it in and out the house really easy as well and it works in the same way it pop, goes onto the seat and you attach it on with your straps at the back 
So really nice again, city maybe if you live in a city. Yeah. Great if you just want to obviously keep this in the car and you can just take this in the house with you, um, which is great. Again, obviously going on holiday, traveling, and um, things like that as well. You can also uh, as well have your um, the Cybex Cot S on here, which is a carry cot. Yeah, so somebody's asked about carry cots approved for overnight sleeping. So we can't use a Leica and no. we can't use this one, but, but we your could cot S, use you the could. Cot S. So your Cot S is a, um, is a, it's just like a standard carry cot. Um, it's what's used on the Balios um, as well and the Gazelle, very similar to that one as well. So it's approved for those occasional overnight sleeping. So not every night, but occasionally if you do go anywhere, away anywhere, you can take it with you. But also it's great for supervised sleeping as well. It's a bigger carry cot and what you do on here is just use um, the adapters and then the carry, uh, carry cot sits on there. So you're basically taking this part off and just having the carry cot on. So everybody's loving the colour. It's really nice colour, Good, you've it? got taste. It's a nice pop colour. It is lovely, it just clashes with our background, but never mind. No, it's fine. But no, they are really, really loving the colour. Yep. Olivia is asking for the price of this one. So the RRP is three six nine ninety five. Yeah. But it does have a lot of features. Yeah, lots of features and it comes in lots of different colours as well. And it is a Cybex. So you've got Cybex is I a German. I love a Cybex product. They're one of my favourites. Cy Cybex is a German company, so there's lots of really clever engineering in your yeah. Cybex Yeah, so for products. example, their car seat um, is currently the only swivel in infant care on the market so it's again they're just very advanced they kind of they know what they're doing um, which is really nice and you say how this all works you'll kind of see it's just really easy and it's it's kind of smooth it's just and clever it just clever you get your bumper bar that you can completely um swivel out the way so it's gate opening and tucks away i've got my full extension out here so great big hood which i really like and tucks back and it does have three um, recline positions and the seat on this is more spacious yeah. than the original as, tw and it's ECS. a really tall back seat as well for a compact pushchair it's nice and tall because of the fold um, it's very clever isn't it how it kind of constantines and goes down which we'll show you in a minute um, it, they've allowed it to have a nice tall back because that's what a lot of people like um, children are say children are quite tall they need that support on the back so we've got a few people saying can um, we does it does it well face i couldn't get my words out then it does and i don't have to take it off so to, as you as the name easy s twist what you do is just lifting up your support on the um leg and calf and twist it back round you do need to take your child out i'd just like to point yeah. out we did do a Something live with yeah. this and they said what happens to their legs they're going to knock on the side do take your child out yeah child always comes out whether even if you can lift the seat out on a normal shot always take child out um, but yes, really easy to swap from parent to world facing. I can see that you would get to the stage where you tell your child to put their legs up, but we wouldn't recommend that. No. No. That's not what Cybex would recommend either. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not what they designed it for. Um, but you have got your adjustable leg rest as well, so that will completely come down when they're world facing, and they have got that foot support um, and foot plate there. It is available in lots of different colours, so a few people asking about the different colours. It is available in a lot of different colours. Pop onto the website yep. and you'll be you've able to have black, a look. You've um, got black, you've got, this is river blue, you've got magnolia pink. So I don't know if I'll come gray. in. Grey, yeah, grey. The Soho grey um, in there as well. So yeah, so many different options, no matter what you like. Um, yeah, lots and of yes, variety. And yes, it does come with a rain cover. We haven't got the rain covers out today, but yes, it does come with a rain cover. Yeah. And a pocket! And a big pocket at the back. Look Those at that. people who join us regularly know that we love a pocket. Yeah. That's a really big pocket, though, it isn't is. it? It is. Nice and deep. And you can fit you can fit your phone, your purse, any dummy, anything else you need, kind of easy access to. And when Snacks. you're travelling, I like the idea as well, you can put your passports in there because yeah. it's nice and big. But a whole family's and passports. And what you could do, you could chop a bit of your baguette off and put it in there. Chop and eat a bit on the go. You get off and then put the rest at the bottom and then give you child. <laughs> you can eat that as you go. Snacks. It's a snack pocket. It's a baguette pocket. Whatever you like. So Claire Hughes says this one is fab. They're liking it. Oh, there's the colours. Oh, look, as if by magic. Look at look at what we did there. So deep black Soho grey, which is like a mid grey, classic beige, which navy is like blue. Beige. Navy blue is like a navy blue. River blue. Blue like the river. <laughs> And Magnolia Pink. <laughs> so some of their names make absolute sense and some of their names Magnolia make no Pink. Sense. No <laughs> sense whatsoever. 
but yeah, really nice. Um, I do like, I say, Cybex, really nice product. You've got at the back what we call flip-flop friendly brake. And you do get a nice size basket. It is a decent size basket, I have to say. Yeah. Especially when you see how small this folds. So There's got a lot of people asking about adjustable handles. Generally, on a small, compact fold, yeah. you're not going to get an adjustable handle. And it's to do with the strength. So if it, it moved, it's yeah. going to stop the strength. So a lot of the folding in the handle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. On compact push chairs. So, folding. I'm guessing people are ready to see the fold. They are, sorry. I was, no, no, in, my, right. I was in my own little world there. Normally they're ready. They're like, I want to see the fold. I want to see the fold. No, no. I was in I'm, my... like, I'm ahead of them today. I know. No, I don't think anyone's asked to see the fold. They don't want to see okay. the fold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Um, so, yeah, you fold in this one. What you want to do is bring the seat forward and then you want to bring the hood back. So, that's what I mean by the fact that how clever it is. You can, um, yeah, you can just kind of. The seat's nice and tall because it folds in half almost. That's really clever, isn't it? Yeah, really clever how it works. And Take then, the child out first. Yeah, of course. And then what you do is you've got a button, um, just almost like as if it would be a recline height position, and then you've got a button at the back. And then just take the rest down with it. She self stands as well. So we've got people Surface. asking about suitability on planes. It depends on your airline. It really depends on your airline. And it also depends on whether you're travelling first class, because often on first class you can take it on anyway. Well, yeah. And then just flick back up, and then you're basically just doing the reverse. Earn concertina your seat unit. My fabric. So it the... is really, really clever. And I love the fact we can have it parent-facing or world-facing. Yeah, that's my favourite thing is the twist. And I have a soft carry cut. Or and a pot, yeah, you can, a normal proper, cut. Yeah. solid carry cut. You've got so many varieties and it's a really, again, nice quality, really well made um, product as well, which I really nice like. Nice finished two fabrics. Yeah. We like, we like the easiest twist. Yeah. Plus two. Two plus. Yeah, plus they've two. definitely made a nice upgrade, haven't they, from the yeah. original. Yeah, yeah. The original's okay, but I like this one better. Yeah, it stands out. When you put them side by side, you can see the big differences, which Sorry is lovely. Sorry for saying the original was only okay, but this one's much better. Yeah, we love this one. So and what, it's got an awesome stand in store. It has. We have got a really good stand. It goes up and it's got like three layers and it goes right the way up to the ceiling. And given that our store is like a warehouse, because it's big yeah. <laughs> and spacious, we have really, really tall ceilings. So it does look really cool. Yeah. And it's next to our shutters that have got graffiti on them that was designed just for us. Yeah. And there is a little bit of that graffiti. We had a lady who came in, she spent three days doing it from York, I think she was. It was amazing just watching it. It take is really place. nice. We've got a video. We'll pop the video up. We'll pop the video up. Remind yeah, so you me. Yes, we can see it. And we so just got our Balios and our Gazelle, haven't we, in front of We that. have. But the more important, our graffiti. There's a little square on it that I did. They, yeah. they wouldn't let me do it anymore. Can't think why you not. You have this spot and that's it. Can't think why not. I would have loved to have been here to do that. That would be amazing. It was really cool. I'll, we'll get the video. Right, what do you fancy next? Shall we go... Ant. Ant. So this is the Bugaboo Ant. Very different look. And if you guess why it's called an ant? Maybe because it's small? Yeah, maybe. I don't think it's that small, Joe. It's quite low. Yeah, it's quite a low seat. But it is quite, it's very, very clever. Yeah, very clever and very, very small. So, your Bugaboo Ant, um, you do get um, changes in your height slightly, but it's not really like... There's me much... going, you very rarely do you get any change, and then yeah. we bring on the ant and she's got a change. Yeah, there is a slight change in the height there, um, but again, that's kind of your fold as well. So you just, yeah, there's not many stages to it. Look at your seat, it is quite a low seat, um, but I'd say really nice for travelling because of how small it does go. So the seat itself, um, it does go from, it's from birth all the way up to 22 kilograms. Um, and it can go both ways, it can go parent or world facing. Lucy Fox says, hope you ladies are okay today. I'm okay, you okay? I'm okay. We're thank okay, you, Lucy. Thank you for we're, asking. We're good, but thank you for asking. Thank you. You're getting a hood extension. Brings your hood forward a little bit more, um, and then you get a nice ventilated panel at the back there. So great, I say, travelling, um, if you, especially if you're going somewhere nice and warm. Stop talking about going places nice and warm. It's freezing out there, and we can't go anywhere. I know. And I need some sun. I need I'm some just vitamin dreaming D. of it. Dreaming of going somewhere warm. You've got a button at the back. 
and it changes your recline position on there. So if you wanted to use it from birth, you'd have to have it facing towards you in that reclined position. Fold. It's not a one's easy step fold, is it? It's not the easiest fold, we'll admit. It's not the no. easiest fold. But as with everything, once you know how to do, do it, it, you yeah. know how to do it. You can it. get it up and down nice and quick. So it's got like four or five stages to it. First stage is just to bring that hood in. So as you can see, it kind of clicks in and keeps it into place. You then push it all the way down to make it nice and compact. It's very funny. If we have it in store like that, people just walk past going, what is how that? How is a child going to get in there? And then you use your lever at the back, swinging that all the way forward. If it wants to swing all the way forward for me, there we go. Until it follows the frame. And then what I'm going to do is use my button, swinging it all the way down. It doesn't get much more compact than that. Then you've got two levers here. And then... Look at that. Look how small it is. It is incredibly small. That's like, a small. that's like a small suitcase sort of size, if not smaller. And the nice thing is as well, all your seat is on the inside, so it's going yeah. to stay nice and Keep clean. that material all uh, protected. So it is very, very small. Somebody said, well, let me just find their comment, because they talked about their bugaboo. You can get a travel bag as well for this as well. Mandy Stevens said, I'd, hi Mandy, I'd love to give this a spin, but there's nowhere open to try them. I want to downgrade from the Buffalo to this. Well, Mandy, you can always book a video consultation. I know it's not quite the same, no. but it's as close as you can get to being in store. And we can put our camera really close, run through everything. We can put different size babies in it. So we can put our big toddler in it and yeah. everything for you to have a look at. And fingers crossed, when, as soon as we're, it depends obviously how soon you want to get it swapped over. We should be open soon, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. We'd love to have people back We're being stuff. optimistic here. Lindsay Hibbard has shared this morning. Thank you, Lindsay. As has Veronica Soon Atkinson Baker. It's a bit of a mouthful there. Don't worry, I'll still read out your comments, even if you've got a really long name. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Janet Palmer says she does love a peekaboo hood. Yep. yep. So we, we've got it with the ant. Laura Marsh loves bugaboo. Um, ha Hannah Khalil says, I love this. Can't wait to go on holiday. Where are you going to go to, Hannah? Where yeah, are you going to go to? Where would you go? You could go anywhere in the world. Maldives. I want to go to the Maldives. It's one place I've always wanted to go. You see, I want to go back to the middle, uh, to Asia. Mm. But like Langkawi, and I did that when I was a lot yeah. younger. So fun fact Before about me. kids. Fun fact about me, I've only left this hot country once. I've only ever been to Spain once, and that was two years ago. We need a road trip to go and see one of the brands, Georgia. We do. I we want to go do. everywhere. We do. We need to get. We need to get you out there, Georgia. Yeah. So um, Hannah Hill says that's a really nice fold. Sophie Ellis says that's so tiny when folded. Yes, Janet Palmer, really good point. It's like a transformer. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's a very, very different fold. It's not the easiest, but once you can do it, you can do it quite quickly because you know how to do it, don't you? Once yeah. you can do it. So basically, getting it up, you're just doing the reverse. And voila! So this is our bugaboo ant as well. But today we are giving away, and if you've already commented, you've already entered into the draw, giving away from our store our Maxi Cozy Leica with its carry cot as well. So it's an amazing really good prize giveaway. today. Amazing prize, really, really useful for anybody who's a little bit short of space, either in the boot of their car or at yeah. home, or you're off on your travels. And the other thing to bear in mind when you're off on your travels, you often hire a car when you get to wherever you're going. Yeah. Um, and then the car, you usually hire a car that's smaller than the car you've got at home, I found. And then you get there and you've got your big suitcases, children, pushchair. I've always taken my car seats with me. Yeah. Bag of sun cream. <laughs> Three bags of clothes that are going to last you about four weeks and yeah. you're only going for a week because you always take two weeks. Yeah, always good to be prepared though. I'm always prepared. What do you fancy looking at next, Georgia? Mm, uh, the bunny. You, you want a bit of, bit of the bunny? I love the bunny. If anyone's seen that, quite, I've, this has been out quite a few times. I like to bring it out as much as I can. Maybe we should swap the bunny for a different one because they do loads of really cool designs. The space, yeah. dice, space man. Yeah. He's cool. But is it time to let Bunny go? What? 
They might be sending out they want an ex-display bargain. Yeah, so. let us know. Would you like an ex-display bunny? Veronica has asked, what's the prize, ladies? Veronica, you're obviously late to the party here, but our prize is our Maxi Cozy Leica and Soft Carry Cot this yeah. morning. It's our one from On Display. So we'll get it all boxed up and out to the winner. Be with you tomorrow, just in case you're travelling anywhere tomorrow, which you won't be. <laughs> so we will... But at least you've got it. We you will have a bit of a play. anywhere in the UK. So as long as that you're in the UK, you can be part of our competition. Yep. So Jodie King says the colours are lovely, she loves the bunny. Sophie Ellis, little bunny emoji, I was thinking of the word there. Just, <laughs> while I thought about the word, I just made an ear. Um, Claire Farley says space would be good if it's a boy. Yes. Yeah. Mandy Stevens, no, keep the bunny, she's cute. Is it a bunny, is it a sheep? Bunny. I know, but Kelly thinks it's a sheep. She thinks You are wrong, it's a Kelly. It's a sheep. She is wrong. I know, I know that, you know that. Everybody and Kelly knows that deep down. Knows that, and you're right. Kelly knows that deep down. <laughs> Kelly knows that she is wrong. But yeah, it's really, really nice push chair. Like even obviously the design is amazing, but how it works, um, it's a pusher that will go from birth all the way up to 25 kilograms. So a, a really long-lasting stroller, which is really nice. It doesn't have the highest of backs. Um, but the, again, it's very similar to the Maxi Cozy. It has got that gap between the seat and the head as well. So great if talk child is quite tall and 25 kilogram mm. weight limit is amazing You've not, it will last you all the way through um which is that could be around your, your four or five year old like i've got something even more amazing at the moment what's that my factoid about our wish two it's not wish one it's wish two it's wish two reduced on the website from 199.95 to 159 look how i've got that in there subtly so it's a bargain yeah and the bunny is available on the website and the spaceman and the bunny and the spaceman. Well, who doesn't want this? It'd cheer anyone up, wouldn't it? It would. Okay, fine. It would. It fine, 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 fine. I get fine. it. It's not for everyone, but it is cute. Loretta McDonald, a bunny I want. Daniel Gibbon says that looks baguette friendly. Hang on, Daniel. We're not at the basket yet. Just hang on. <laughs> Hold your horses one moment. Trisha Latham Trainer says that's lovely. My daughter's having a girl in a few weeks. Was five weeks, but they told us she'll need to make an entrance in two. Oh, wow. Panic stations. Panic stations. Do you need any help with anything? We, let us know and we can help. We're, we're we good can. at helping. We're good at helping. Um, Lindsay Hibbard. Oh, your message keeps going up because I've got more messages coming <laughs> on the bottom and it pushes them up. I'd love a trip to London. We travel via train in limited bag storage, so a pram would be amazing. I travelled with my Mimazari last time. Never again. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand that. The meme is quite a big junky monkey. So, yeah, sometimes a smaller folding yeah. pushchair is going to work for some people. Right, so let's have a look at our whoosh too. Get you with your bell. But, yeah, you've got your bell on there, which is, look at that. It's just like, again, a really nice feature. I don't know why they don't all do bells. Yeah, because let's out the way. Especially in London, you need it. Out the way, please. Please. <laughs> Get I out. forget. I forget my manners. I'm sorry. Oh, Georgia, we'll let you off. We'll let you off. A bell. A bell. Yeah. I can say everyone. Baby star, where's the bell? There's no bells on Dibex. any of the others. Bellless. Sato, know what you need. Completely bellless. The rest of them. <laughs> so you get your peekaboo window at the back. And a bell. <laughs> With a magnet. And a magnet. We love magnets. Love a magnet. Ding ding, oh, oh, ready? Lizzie Brooks. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Is it a bit more? Way! <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to make us happy, does it? No. A magnet and a bell. And a bunny push chair. Or a spaceman. So you've got your adjustable, um, it's, not, it's not a leg um, rest, but it is just more like a calf support there. Um, and then you have got your foot plate at the bottom for when they are nice and tall. You've got a nice access to your basket from the front, but also from the back, as you can see there. It is lovely access to the basket, isn't it? Yeah, really Do nice. Do you know, one of the things I like the most, I love the detail on the straps. Yeah. On the harness, I love those. So that's where we can argue and say, it's not a sheep, Kelly. No, it's not a sheep, well, it's not. And it's got a picture of a rabbit on above your hand anyway, so it's not a sheep. And it's called Bunny, but it's not a sheep. So Kelly, if you're listening, you're wrong. But yeah, really nice. Even to like to say, it's not a plain, I mean, to miss the easiest twist one's got nice, but it's not a plain black strap. Um, it's a nice pattern on there. The easiest twist nice has a nice strap. So yeah. Look, let's just pull her out. I could have taken the brakes off and made life a bit easier. We tend to do that for ourselves. <laughs> we've, got, we've got nice detailing on those straps as yeah. well. 
Everybody else got boring straps. Everyone's got boring straps. Yep. These two know what they're doing. So if, you, if you're looking for a pushchair without boring straps, <laughs> these are your two. But great, I mean, they would theoretically, hopefully, show up less mess than black. Yes, because black does show up a yeah. multitude of sins. Baby sick. Food. Snot. Everything. So black does show up. Yeah. Tracy Higgins has said, do the swivel wheels lock on this? They do. So as you can see at the front here, you've almost got like a um, lever. You just want to push those in on either side and then they'll lock into place for you. So great. Say so if you are going over gravel, anything that's kind of a rough terrain, um, it will be great for that as well. And you could or, use a foot, I suppose, to unlock it. Yeah, you can. I use my foot. I use my foot. It depends what shoes I've got on there, obviously. Yeah. So Melissa Creasy has said, does the front part of the basket come up at all? I can see all my stuff coming out if I catch a wonky pavement. No, it doesn't come up any more than that, as you can but see. But it is sloped. So it you... is, yeah, it is sloped. It's got a natural slope to the push. And you have got a lip. When you've got stuff in, you have yeah. got a lip to stop stuff coming out. Yeah, and but I quite like it because most likely things will come out the back, at the back. Than the front. Like, imagine if you're going up a kerb, things like that. Yeah, it's... You have got the higher up back, which is nice. Laura Barber says, can we get a matching foot muff for Casato? Yes, yep. we can. Yeah, they do. They do foot muffs, they do bags, all different kinds Any of things. Any accessories that you would like? Oh, look, Chloe Isabella, call me, call me can. I nearly said comican then. Glad you've done a live on these today. We're going away in June. Fingers crossed. Who thought we'd be saying fingers crossed? But we are. Fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Yeah. I've been looking for a compact stroller to take with us. Well, Chloe. You could be in the draw to win. You could, obviously, she's already in the draw. Well, we don't could about it. She's made oh, she a is, comment. She? she made yes. a comment. <laughs> so today we're giving away our Maxi Cozy Leica and Soft Carry Cot. We have got just some of our compact folds. So if it does help, why not book a video consultation yeah. and we can go through them all. Yeah. So Emily has said, does this have a tablet compartment like the Super? No. No, not a, no, not a it tablet. it does have a pocket. It does have a pocket at the back. And yes, Janet, it does come with its rain covers. Yep. Yeah. It does come with rain covers as well. And look, you get a bunny at the back as well. I know. It's... Hiding in the pocket. Annabelle. Now, fold. Does it fold? Yes, it does fold. And Should it's got a nice, it easy fold. I always pop the hood back just to find it easy. It, it doesn't really matter either way. Um, but at the back, you've got, of course, it matches a twist bar and then a, um, a slide button. So you're going to slide your button and then you want to rev towards you. And you can do it with one hand. Yeah. And then. Pushes all the way down. So it's a nice fold. Somebody just asked how much they are. Janet Palmer. So this one is the Casato Wush 2, and it's usually $199.95. At the moment, it's on offer for £159. So really good value at the moment. Yeah. So this was the Casato Wush 2. If you're wondering why it's the Wush 2, there's a few distinct differences on there. But the big difference, the easy to notice difference, is compared to the original Wush we have a bumper bar. Yeah. Do children like a bumper bar? Yeah, you can take it off, um, and what you get included is like some clips here. So it basically stops there from being a hole where children will most likely stick their fingers in put there. Put their fingers in. And put cry their for their stock. Cheerios in, put their raisins yeah. in, put their everything in. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, they will. Um, but yeah, you can just plug that um, in so there's no um, gaps at all. But obviously, again, I like the bumper bar on here because there's a nice gap. Between and children love a bumper bar. They don't do they? love they'll put their a legs bumper or bar. Just they do of... love a bumper bar. So lots of people joining us this morning. Thank you very much if you've shared. That's really, really kind. Remember, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, and we do love it when you share. Janet Palmer, I can see you shared. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Today we are looking at just a few of our compact, more compact strollers. We do have quite a lot of others in store that we haven't got yeah. out today, um, but they wouldn't all fit in our studio quite frankly. No. So if you're looking for a compact stroller, do give us a shout and obviously yeah. you can... Um, and what's the set of requirement you want from your travel? Yeah, posture? absolutely. Lindsay says, is there a boy's version of the bunny? Yeah. There's, there's not a boy bunny, if you like. There's not a blue no. bunny, but there are some versions that perhaps boys might like better than the pink rabbit. Although obviously boys can rock a pink rabbit. I they just could. have to get that in there in case anybody tells me off. But say if your child's not into 
bunnies or you want them to have um, those other designs, isn't there? Oh, there are. There's, There's some so more many. plain designs as well. Yeah. So, let's have a look at something else. What do you fancy, Georgia? Should we go baby style? Yeah, let's get out our Should atom. I... You pass that back. I'll, I'll twist around. Twist around. So, oyster, baby style oyster. Lots of people know the Oyster 3. The Oyster 3 is a very, very popular yeah. travel system. So, this is the baby style atom 2. The two, I think the two in there. Make um, sure you get the two in there. But yeah, really nice colour. This is in their, um, I was about to say, Green Milan, it's not. <laughs> um, Mercury. Mercury. <laughs> it came to me. Why don't they just all call them grey yeah. and black? It like you've got so grey mist, you've got Mercury, you've, you've got, got grey flannel. Grey flannel. You've got grey melange. It just, Soho grey. Grey. fight grey. Yeah, just grey. Just, just, just grey. It's great. And if you need to differentiate brands, if you're watching, light grey, dark grey. Yeah. Okay. I like mine graphite. I don't mind that, but don't. It just, yeah. It's anyway, My, back it, to our It doesn't oyster. take a much to me to be confused. <laughs> you've got your ventilated panel here, which is a nice big panel. I really like how, um, how big that panel is there. And I like how this pops all the way back. And then you have got... Morning, Caitlin McNamee. Where have you been, Caitlin? We've been live for ages, but we'll let you off. Hello, Caitlin. Homeschooling. We've told them she can't come until the. Oh, yes, homeschooling. homeschooling. Yes. Kirsty Missing says she, she, oh, she loves her Oyster 3 package she got from Arsenal. Oh, good. And she was very pleased with showing this. What colour did you have? Did she uh, say? Uh, um, I can't remember. I can't remember. Grey? <laughs> we do sell a lot of grey. We do. So we're looking at our baby style oyster atom today. Um, yeah. And we have it here in the Mercury. Very, very popular colour. Um, people are loving the hood. But let's have a look at the seat. Cause it's, she's a lovely big seat unit. Yeah, nice big seat unit. Again, it comes up quite um, a fairly high, high back on here. Um, you get your adjustable straps here. So you kind of move these up as your little one gets older. Nice wide seats, quite a wide push chair, which I really it like. It is a wider push chair, isn't yeah. it? And we've also, the Oyster Zero is very, very popular for somebody who wants a long lasting yeah. push chair. But we didn't put our Oyster Zero in because although she's, she's a small folding stroller, she's not as small. No, this is more the compact version. Yeah, it's cop small and then this is compact. Yeah. You then got your um, adjustable leg rest wherever i can find my button well everybody is loving the color we're getting a few hearts for this and some thumbs up for this helga's joined us this morning good morning helga she says um very spacious yes it is very spacious yeah and nice and spacious bar. and you do get your bumper bar again good gap between the seats and the bumper bar there and it does oh i think that changes you you get your angle so you can bring it out of the way instead of having to take the whole thing off, which I like. And then you can take the whole thing off with just a wee button on the inside. Charlotte Griffin says this is a lovely stroller. Yes, it kind of needs a bit of love, this one, doesn't it? Yeah. Because people often haven't heard of this one when they And I love the colour of it. It's got really nice, it's got like a tweed effect. Same with your Oyster, if anyone's seen the Oyster 3, it's the same sort of material. And it's under £200 as well. Yeah. So nice, nice price point yeah. for the quality of the fabrics as well. We've got a few people asking about the basket. I know you're on your way down to the basket, I am. Georgia. It's got a high back here. Um, and it does come up quite high. So again, it's very similar to the Cassato. Um, it's a nice wide basket because the frame's a little bit wider. And we have nice big wheels. While well, you're down there, cameraman, look at the wheels. Yeah. But again, the seat's really nice because you can recline. You can see you've got a drawstring here. And Kirsty it will... Kirstie Misson has got back to us about Oyster 3. Noir. So Kirsty, Noir, she remembers rightly. She's got a little puzzled face there. So Noir is black with your black frame as yeah. well. Great again for travelling because you have got your zip at the back. I like this feature. And you've got your ventilation. So you can imagine your trip to the Maldives. Yeah. Go I'll to the Maldives. I don't have a child. So <laughs> go to the Maldives before you have children and just enjoy it. But you have got the ability to give them lots of ventilation there. Yeah. And especially if you then pop your hood forwards, which will show you how much coverage they've got. And you can add your ventilation at the top as well. So it's kind yeah. of... 
it has quite a lot of features, doesn't it? The, yeah. Um, baby style oyster. But atom. I don't think it quite gets as much love as it should have. No, and say. a lot of people are saying it's it looks really robust for a compact push chair. Yeah, yes, it is. I think that's a really nice good way of sturdy, describing it. Nice big wheels again. Um, which She's not really going like. to blow away, is she? No. Not going to blow away. So we've got a few people asking whether we can fold it and whether it can parent face. So it can't parent face. So it would just always stay in this one position, um, but obviously you can um, recline the seat. It does go from um, birth to 22 kilograms on here, so which is really nice. Seat pops, uh, hood pops all the way back, and then fold in. Very similar to Cassato, um, the fold on there. You've got your button, but then you've got a side button on here. So you want to push your side button in, then the main part, and then it will kind of pop all in. And you can take your bumper bar off to make it a little bit smaller if you want. So it's not yeah. the most compact we've had out today, but it's more compact than your Oyster Zero, for example, which is yeah. very, very popular. But it's quite nice if you know you've got a bit of space, maybe you are going on holiday in the UK. I like the Atom. Um, I like the Atom. It's quite nice. And then getting back up, just popping back out. I'm clicking it. It's basically like a bigger version of the Cassata, isn't it? Almost. Yes. It's very similar. Yeah, a little bit more chunky. A little bit more chunky. Sarah Clegg says that's great for hot days. Janet Palmer says that's nice. It's quite spacey for a lie down. Yes, and I like quite space. Spacious, I like yeah. the fact that if you go away, hopefully you might go out for a meal with your little one. Yeah. And if they want to go to sleep, they've got enough space to get comfortable. Yeah, definitely. So which... Which go Minu. Minu. Up about you, Minu. Let's give it some love. Minu, Minu, Minu. It's our X display one again. Um, we've got the baby. I've got a baby in there. Not fastened in. Please always fasten your child in. <laughs> this is not how it advise to no. you, for sure. Yep, no. So our Minu, we've only got one left. It is X display. And they started off at £349. And then they were on offer at £199. Yep. Amazing offer. So we've got our X display one available for £150. So bargain, bargain of the week. Bargain yeah. of the week. Really, really nice. Um, you've got... As you can see here, it's like a pop-out sun visor, which I like. Um, and then it tucks away when you don't need it at all. And then at the back, you do get, of course... Magnets! Magnets! And look at the size of the peephole on that, so you can see. And you can roll it out the way as well. So yep. really, another really, really nice feature on that. Yeah, you can keep it out of the way. And I like how um, big that panel is as well. Donna Yields is reminiscing this morning. She says she took her daughter on a Caribbean cruise when she was two and compact, foldable sizes would have been ideal for the ship and in our room. That's a good yeah. point, actually, if you're in a hotel room or, or yeah. a cruise room. Cruise room, is that the right word? Yeah. It is now. It is It'll now. do. It'll do. But if you've got a push that you can fold nice and small, I nearly fell over the wood there, did you see? Um, it's going to give you a bit more space. Yeah. So those people who have just joined us, thank you very much for joining us. I'm just going to give her a little bit more limelight. We are giving away our Maxi Cozy Lyca. Maxi Cozy Lyca today. And this is our prize. All you have got to do is to add some comments and you could be the winner. Yeah. It'll be on the courier and be with you tomorrow. Laura Marsh says, I want a holiday now. Hello. I'm sure she's stamping her feet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's how we all are at the minute. I want to go. I want to go. I want a holiday. Let me leave. I want a holiday. Yeah. So back to our lovely upper baby mini. We've got a question about the handle. Does it extend? No, it doesn't extend. So it does stay in the one position, um, which is very common on most of them. Obviously, there are a couple that can extend out, but it does stay in one position. It's quite a tall handle, though, I must admit. It's one of the, probably one of the tallest ones. And you do get your leatherette handle, so nice quality on there as well. Um, which I really like. You get a pocket at the back. We do love a pocket. Again. Your Atom actually had a pocket. I don't think we mentioned the pocket. On oh, the no, it does have a pocket, yeah. Done. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I've looked at too many now. <laughs> You've got a pocket a at the back. It's not called a room. It's called a cabin. Of course it's called a cabin. Yeah. I knew that, that wasn't the right word. I knew someone would tell us. Yeah, thanks, you lot. Yep, it's called a cabin, yeah. Come on, baby. We don't seem very clever now, do we? What, no. What's that room called on a boat? <laughs> a cabin. Oh, yes. A room. A room on a boat. Do you want baby? Right. So then looking at your seat, um, you do get a nice big seat. Um, again, comes up fairly high and you get that headroom again. Very common on most of the compact push chairs you see. 
You do get... No, you don't. Uh, you don't? No. Not Stationary. Yet. Doesn't... Sit. Not yet. Move. Not yet. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. But you have got your adjustable um, straps here, so you can move them up and down, and it does go in a nice lie flat position. So this one is, I can tell you, I've had a Mini, and although you've got quite small wheels, it surprised me how good it was over park. It feels nice and sturdy for it compact It really, Christian. really is incredibly well built. Um, and I took it, we went to a, uh, a farm and mm. it was raining. Yeah. And really, 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 really raining. And at this farm, there's all these things that you can do outside. It was a bank holiday weekend, my friends were down. All these things that the older children wanted to do. And it was it down with rain. Yeah. And I was like, this pushchair, I should have bought the other pushchair. And it did it work, but did it do well? But she did better than I thought she would do. And I've used a lot of pushchairs. Yeah. It is a nice, it's nice sturdy, um, it's got a nice sturdy frame. And she's a bargain at £150. Yeah, £150 as an extra display. It's a, it's a, it's a really nice quality. You get your easy brake, so it's push down on the green to go, push down on the red to stop. Which I like. And you do get a good size basket as well. So. Shall I show the fold? Yeah, I think so. So you fold in, you've got a slide button at the back and then your button in the middle and then you just push down and then you've got your lock just in there and then you get a carry strap as well. So, and you also get a travel bag with this one as yeah. well. So it is a nice, easy fold. You, for lots of people know the Vista and the Cruise, yeah. but this is the Mini, which is the little baby one. But she needs a new home. £150. Let us know. We can get that on the courier for you tomorrow. But there is a good bit of headroom. Frank Barrett has joined us today and said, love to see a good bit of headroom. I'm a shorty myself, but my little boy is two and a half and is taller than some four-year-olds. I thought he was going to say I'm taller than me. I'm like, that's, 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 <laughs> that's impressive. That's, that is impressive. Claire Whiteley, be fab for holidays. If we can ever go on holiday again. Yeah. So if we're making you cry at home, we're not meant to. We're not meant to. Um, but at so least we can be prepared. Yeah, 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 definitely. Lizzie Brooks loves the carry strap. I'm just going um, up a little bit because I know I've missed a lot of questions and I'm very, very sorry. Claire Farley says, are these from Bert? It depends which one you're talking about. Some of them you've got the option of a carry cot, some are six months, some are from Bert. Yeah. Claire, um, if you just send us a message, if there's any in particular that you've missed, um, that we've talked about, do let us know. Yeah. Your Minu is from six months, if yeah. that is the one that you were talking about. You can get a birth kit, yeah. which will turn it into a soft carry cot which is really, really clever. So you can use it from birth, yeah. but you do need to add it on its own, on. it's from six months. Yeah. Let's have a look. Joanna Longworth has joined us this morning. Good morning, morning, Joanna. She says, that would be perfect for my first holiday in 15 years. Oh, I wow. hope she doesn't mean 15 years from now. And she's just thinking about the lockdown's <laughs> never going to end. I hope it where are you going, years. Joanna? Tell us where you're going. Anybody else got a holiday book? Tell us where you're going yeah. so we can get really jealous. Yeah. I need a holiday. I need a holiday, I need to get one more. I think I might go to France in the summer, because mm. I had to cancel last year. Yeah, you couldn't go last year, could you? No, twice we tried to go, and it was cancelled. So we're, we're third time lucky. Yeah. Third time lucky, and we'll go off to France and get some I'm sunshine. happy with a UK holiday at this point. Yeah. I, you... I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, I just somewhere other than Lincolnshire. <laughs> yeah, just somewhere a little bit further afield. Yes, but you see, if I go to France, I can go in the car. Yeah. And I don't have to get out of my own car yeah, until I get to my destination. Yeah. Well, obviously, we might have to to get some petrol, but... Mm. Or just go very short way into France. No, yeah. no, I'm going to go in my own car. Good idea. So, Katie Marie Hardy, she's off to Turkey, September the 24th. Are you on countdown? I would be. Definitely, I would be. Yeah. Charlotte Griffin, I wish I had a holiday booked. Yeah. yeah. Fran Locke, does it have a rain cover? If this is the one you're talking about, they yes, it does. They all come with rain covers. Katie Murphy's got a break booked for September in the New Forest, hoping they can go. Vicky Thomas is being very... Vicky Thomas has said, when is the winner announced? Stay tuned. We announced the winner very right soon. at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. It's an amazing prize today. It is our Maxi Cozy Leica and Soft Carry Cot. And all your comments are entered into the draw. Pavlina uh, Benediktova, I hope I said that right, was meant to go to Croatia, but let's just see what happens. Fingers crossed for you, Pavlina. 
fingers crossed. Uh, Janet says somewhere that's not at home again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm at that point. Somewhere that's not home. Yeah, just, just somewhere that's not home. Yeah. Um, oh, Katie, is, who's looking forward to a holiday, said, yes, Slimming World countdown. Ha <laughs> ha. You see, I think I need to book a holiday. Even if I know it's going to be cancelled, because then I might go on my diet. Yeah, most, I keep most saying of it, yeah. I'm going to do. I need a holiday to look forward to. Yeah. Veronica Cornwall, Charlotte says France is great. Fate, she says baguettes. See, see, it's probably because I had my holiday cancelled twice last year. <laughs> I'm missing the baguettes, and that's why baguettes She's are coming into our it. life. I'm just dreaming about baguettes. She says and cheese. Yeah. You've missed something very important on there: baguette, cheese, and. What do you have that? Wine. Three things. You can't, you can't go to France and not taste the, the local most beverage, bit. can you? So, have we done them all? No. Oh, no, we missed the jet. We missed the one at the end. The jet in the corner. Nobody puts jet in the corner. So, you've got your Silver Cross jet. I'll wheel this one back here. So, yeah, this is the Silver Cross version of their compact push chair. Um, and we have um, we have got two in store, haven't we? We've got the black one. Oh, we have. And we've got the blue. We have got the blue one, and the blue one will be an X display one as well. Yeah, and it will be going on the website. It will very soon. But I can't tell you how much because I can't remember. No, no. So if you're interested Stay in tuned. the X display jet, <laughs> send us a message and I'll tell you how much it is because I can't remember what no. it is. We've looked at a lot of prices. So it's lots strong. of people love Silver Cross, don't they? The Pioneer, yeah. the Wayfarer, the Pacific, the they're Way. Nice, they're very high quality. The Coast. Um, Kensington, the Balmoral, the Pop, the Zest. Yeah. Have I missed any? The Reflux. And but all of their off. other push chairs. Yeah. But this is the jet. This is their option for those of you who are jetting away. Jet away on the jet to Lorna holiday. Barber loves the look of the jet. It's style. It is really stylish. Isn't it is it? a nice stylish look. Oh, especially in the black. I do like it in the black with she the She is tan. a very sexy push chair. Mm. She is. If push chairs can be sexy. But this I one think is. So. So you've got a nice big hood with your extended panel just there, um, and then you've got your peekaboo window at the top. I thought you were going to throw it then. I was like, what are you doing? What I are could you doing? literally throw it. It's that light. It's Amy really has light. asked, can she have the price of the X display jet? Amy, if you send us a message at the end of the live, we will get that over to you and some photographs as yeah. well. So in Laura the says, room, have room. you done a joy? No. No, we haven't got joy in our, our no. today. Not quite a small folding. Well, you've got the pack. Yeah. The packed light. Um, so we haven't, unfortunately, included all of our small folding no, there's a few chairs, brands we haven't got. But if but... there are something you want to see, just book a video conference call and we will get that sorted for you. Yeah. Claire Taylor Hughes says, Silver Cross are always so well made and beautiful. They do fabrics really well. And I yeah. don't know whether the camera will show, but you have it's a, really nice textured. a texture on here. And it's got a slight sheen on it. So nice and easy to wipe clean. You should have Georgia doing this. She has nicer nails than me. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> See what we did there. <laughs> Gabby Garner's off material. to Devon in July for, for her wedding anniversary. Yeah. Laura Ford loves the colour match, the black and tan. Yeah, we do love the black and tan. There's also your black and rose gold. You've got your jet eclipse. Yeah. Now, that is a moment. That is a beautiful, that's a yeah. very I've got to admit, I like the blue, though. You do like the blue, don't you? It's, again, a nice pop of colour. Great. It's, very, it's like summer. Summer in a pushchair. So, yeah, summer in a pushchair we need so let's have a look at our jet in a little more closeness yeah you've got a nice again good size seat here the jet it will go from um birth to 15 kilograms you've got at the back it's like a drawstring and you just want to pull pull down and then you have a nice life flat seat and if I'm just going to pop the baby in, because sometimes our lie flat seats, when they're this kind of a design, your baby just makes them, the weight of the little one makes them go down a little bit further. Yeah. Obviously, you would strap your own child in. <laughs> our baby is not strapped in. Our baby is not strapped in, but she doesn't wiggle. So she's okay. all right. I can't remember the name of this one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll ask Kelly. Uh, Kirsty. I've just rolled the back up here. So again, you get a nice ventilated panel. Great, again, going on holiday, somewhere warm. Um, and it just tucks up out the way at the back here, which I really like. Nice and neat and tidy, isn't it? Yeah, and then when you need it, you've got your magnets. Covering it back up. We love a magnet. We do. I love the leatherette on the bumper bar. You took our baby out there, not very gently. It doesn't complain, it's fine. Okay, okay. 
Nobody um, complain, please. <laughs> Nobody complain. So she has got slightly smaller wheels, but that's due to the fold because we have got a very, very compact fold yeah. on Different this. Different fold to some of the others. Um, you, ha you do struggle access in your basket from the back. So you do get a nice, um, easy access from the front, as you can see. So it's not the biggest of baskets because, again, the fold, it kind of needs to be yeah, a small basket. I don't know we're going to get our baguette in there. No, Baby's going to have to eat the baguette or half the baguette. Yeah. Daniela so. says she wishes it had a pocket. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, yeah. You're going to have to put your things in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. You've got a neat, nice, easy break system. Um, again, very similar to is the Mini, wasn't it? Red yep. and green to stop. Somebody asked about the weight limit on this. It's 15 kilograms on yep. this one. Birth to 15 kilograms. And then your handle does stay in the one position so it doesn't come up any higher. And then your fold. You've got almost underneath here a red button. And then you want to push your red button in. Now, if you were Clarissa, you'd be talking about the mu the music stand fold because she thinks the back of it looks like a music stand, which it does. It, do, it does, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we'll, we'll give her that one. Yeah. We'll give her that one. And then what you do is at the top here, you've got a button at the back and a button in the inside. And as you can see, it brings your handle in really close. And then, again, using your foot just at the bottom there and then just pushing down. So she's a different fold that you have to learn again. But once you can do it, yeah. You can do it. Now you can pull this along behind you, as long as you haven't got the brake on. I think I have. So put the brake be. on. Yep. If you don't put the brake on, you can pull it along behind you. I don't really can do it from there, can you? She's going to try anyway, look. If I break a nail. <laughs> if you break a nail, we'll I be in trouble. On. Oh, no. No, she's got the brake on. If you don't put your brake on, you, you can You can it, imagine. <laughs> behind you, you can also take your bumper bar off. Yeah. And you can also, it comes with a bag as well. So that well. will kind of sit within here and then you get a travel bag and you can pop it in the bag and off you go on your holidays. So your jet is from £219, but your special edition, which is your Eclipse, which is black with rose gold, which we haven't got out today, but yeah. we'll get one out another day is £259, if I can read your writing correctly. Yeah. But I think I can. £259, that is right. Getting back up, you've got your catch on your left. If I know my left and right. You've got a catch on one side. Yeah, that'd be easy to They're stand. loving how you can pull it along. Lizzie says it's perfect for the boot. Yeah. I'm popping it back up. And then you want to click... And off you go, back on your travels. And then you can de-break. <laughs> yeah. So, then you can wheel it along. Hannah says she thinks that might hurt her toes in flip-flops. I think you'd be all right with this one in flip-flops. Do you want to do the it's just it, it, Oh, no, that bit. It's because when you fold it off, oh, you do bit. have to use the you top of the You could use your hand, couldn't you? If you yeah. wanted to. You could use your hand. Um, but no, put your wellies on when you're folding it. It'll <laughs> be fine. Jolene loves the bar on the jet. Um, Veronica loves how it folds. It, it's a really, really clever fold. Yeah. And will fit in your overhead lockers for most of your hours. Again, just check. Just check. Yeah. We just don't want to confirm that. Here, just check. Don't because... get there and go, push your experts on you. <laughs> Charlotte says the Eclipse sounds fancy. Yes, the whole of the Eclipse -like yeah. range is beautiful. But then the finish on all of them, you say you get your nice leather out hand on the stitching and the detail, and it's beautiful. Perhaps isn't we it? should do a live all about Silver Cross. Maybe. And get some of the Eclipse out as well. Because mm. they are rather special. They are yeah. rather special. We've got quite a lot of their new products out. Jennifer well, Alice they? as well loves the fold. Um, jo Meekin has joined us. Good morning, Good jo. morning. She says, I do like the jet, I, but she wants a special edition one. I see we all like something a little bit special. Yeah. I think we started this this week when we did the new <laughs> Tin and Special Edition. Georgia. And we mentioned special about a hundred times. We like things that are very, very special. So, um, Daniela says, does it have a suspension? Yes, it does. Yeah, put my brake on. Your brake on. So you're always with your travel stroller is going to have less suspension than you would with some yeah. of your bigger push chairs. Janet Palmer says she's lost count of how many times dragging a buggy behind you on a beach. Yes, take a baby carrier. <laughs> yeah, take a baby carrier or a Cybex E3M, which will go over the beach because it's got an end, It's got um, a motor in it to yeah. help you. Or a comedian that's got beach mode. Yeah. There's quite a few pushes. Yeah, there? there are that you can just pop on two wheels or yeah. your mountain buggy terrains work really well on the beach yeah. and your urban jungle I've taken on a beach. Um, but yeah. yeah, 
The majority of push chairs are rubbish on the beach. We can't deny it. Take a baby carrier. Yeah. Uh, Vicky says, how tall are you for handle height reference? I am 5'6". I am this tall. I don't know how <laughs> tall I am. I used to be 163 centimetres. I can remember measuring myself at school. I need to measure myself again and see whether I've shrunk. shrunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've lost a child there. Um, if I grab the carry card. Oh, yeah, well. sorry. That's right. Oh, winner. Yes, I think they the, want to know who's won. They want won. to know who they won. won. To us, rabbit on. So, we are amazing prize today, and we've been looking at our more, just some of our more compact strollers. If yeah. you want to book a video consultation to look at any again, or add any into the mix, do let yeah. us know, we can do that. Your video consultations can, they can cover anything, baby carriers. And they can be as quick or as long as you need it to. I well. know, because it's a 90 minute appointment, and lots of people might, and we've had a couple of calls going, I don't need a 90 minute appointment. No, but if you, if you need fine. 10 minutes, just to kind of go through, if you've maybe, you've got a new car seat and you want to just double check that you've got it, maybe you seat belted it and you want to double check that you've got it seat belted, or um, for example, the Cloud Z, the reclining on it, or yeah. something so simple, don't, Fear to kind of get in contact, we can show you as much. We as are here to help, and quite frankly, if we don't talk to you lot, we have to talk to each other and yeah. just gets a bit crazy. Crazy, <laughs> yeah, mad, mad. So, Especially in the sweets involved. all your comments this morning have been entered into our draw to win our Maxi Cozy Liker. So, we're going to pack this yeah. very one up in, in a box and it's going to whiz its way anywhere in the UK on our courier and it'll be with you tomorrow. Yeah. Talking of our courier, we have, we have extended our courier cut off time to five o'clock. So anything ordered by five o'clock today will be with you tomorrow. Yeah. And the other thing that we've done, I don't know whether you know, while uh, the poor old Royal Mail were really struggling to get all the deliveries out, yeah. we upgraded everybody who had a Royal Mail delivery free of charge up to the courier delivery. Yeah. So everything is free delivery over 50 pounds, but if you've got an item less than 50 pounds, Anybody who put on Royal Mail, we upgraded free of charge to the courier delivery, even help at the weekends. Help Royal Mail out. Yeah, because, right. I'm sure they're still struggling now. I'm back like with Christmas. Anyway, we're going to carry on doing that till the end of the month. So yeah. anything that you order, if you do Royal Mail, we will upgrade it onto the courier for you. Yeah. And we, as we say, we ship seven days a week. Yeah. As long as it's over £50 we're always free here. of charge. So you can get it on Saturdays and even Sundays. We're, we're always good. here. We're good. We keep, we keep everybody busy. So we've got lots of people saying good luck. What a lovely community you guys are out there. That's really lovely. And thanks, ladies. Enjoy the session from D. Oh, thank you. So that was really, really kind. So shall we draw our winner? That's Who good. wants to win? We've Who got is hearts. going to be the lucky winner? We've got hearts. We've got thumbs up. We don't like anything angry. But I don't think we've got any angry ones today. Um... Oh, oh, Melissa right. Creasy says, great service from you guys on my purchases over the last year, so thank you. Laura oh, Ford God. says, how do you girls remember everything? We don't. <laughs> no. No, not always. No, it doesn't always go smooth and doesn't always go as planned. And then but... you have your brain blocked, don't you, where you just have this mind yeah. blank. I've been in many, shown been with many customers and gone, oh, I can't remember how to do it. I can't yeah. No, it does You happen. kind of learn, you learn how to do it. You and... just learn, and, and we quite like doing it as well. Yeah. So it kind we of, like a challenge. It doing. kind of helps, and if there's something, if you're, anybody asks us a question and we don't know the answer, we will always find out the yeah. answer for you. You know, we don't know everything. And if we're not sure, we will always double check. We've got fingers crossed, we've got heart faces, we've got smiley faces, we've got love hearts, we've oh, got good. I love it, and we've got baguettes, and we've got more <laughs> fingers crossed. And we've even got min, minion, min, uh, minion coloured fingers crossed, the yellow one. Yeah. Um, and more hearts. So let's draw our winner today. Who will it my be? Piece of card. I think we need a drum roll for this one. We need a, a sound <laughs> effect. <laughs> like Chris Evans has loads of sound effects on his radio show. Yeah. Right, let's see who our winner is. Do you want me to start at the top or the bottom? Just go. Go, 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 and I'll okay. shout. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be you? Who wants to win? Stop. So, oh, right, okay, I have stopped here. Our winner this morning of our Lyca, Maxi Cozy Lyca and Carrie Cot is Ailing Ashleen Cooper. Well so done. So I'm just going to write congratulations. Congratulations. If you um, can send us a message... Um, with your details and we can get this popped on the van and it'll be with you tomorrow. 
So thank you. I'm just writing congratulations. Yeah, I'm thank not you everyone you. for joining. Um, we do love it when everyone's here and it's have awesome, a good chat. It's awesome, isn't it? Um, it's really nice, obviously, because it's, it's, like, it's just nice that people are joining and just, it's nice to joining speak to people. Joining and sharing and talking to us. Cause we're and I know that you, a lot of you talk within the comments as well, which is yeah, quite nice. Which is like, always, yeah, which lovely. Anybody got any questions, send us a message, whether it's about any of these products or any other. Remember, we have got an X-Display Minu available and also an X-Display Silver Cross Jet. So if you want to grab a bargain before we put those on the website, do let us know yeah. ASAP. And we can get some pictures and details and things as well all sent to you. So have a lovely Thursday, everybody. We're nearly Friday. We are. We're nearly there. We're nearly Friday. Let's celebrate with a good live tomorrow. Make sure you join us tomorrow at 11 because it's going to be a good one. Stay safe, everybody. Stay happy, everybody. If you are homeschooling, have well fun. done. You know, keep well going. Done. You're nearly there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, but thank you very much for joining us and we will see you tomorrow around about 11 o'clock. Yeah, have a lovely Thursday. Bye. Bye. -bye.